This is a project I've been working on lately. It's a Wi-Fi driven Nixie display. It talks MQTT, so as you can see in the background, I've simply got my computer sending MQTT messages to the slash FLW topic, and almost instantly they appear on my Nixie display. There's no wires connecting the computer to the Nixie display, Instead, I'm using the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. To that, I've burnt some firmware from the Arduino library that allows it to speak MQTT. And in a previous video, I talk about flushing that firmware. In this video, I'm going to talk about the Arduino code that drives this. So that's the other side of the coin, the Arduino code that receives the MQTT messages and displays it on the display. Uh, here's another example where I'm instead sending the MQTT messages from my phone and you can see that they're all displayed beautifully on screen. So here's an overview of the device as I've created it. There are four PCBs that contain drivers for the B7971 giant Nixie tubes and there's uh, an Arduino, that's the red board, or it's an Arduino clone called the Siduino that I've created. There's a couple of high voltage power supplies and right at the back where the arrow is you can see the ESP8266 module. Here's a view from the back, it makes it easier to see the two power supplies there's an on and off switch as well, and you can see the ESP8266 over towards the right. So this is my Arduino code that is used to drive the B7971 Nixies. Let's start by looking at the configuration header file. So in this I've defined um, constants, the SSID for my Wi-Fi router, the password, the IP address of the MQTT broker to connect to. I just installed Mosquito on a Raspberry Pi and that's sitting at uh, 192.168.1.233. It's uh, installed by default on port 1883 and then some details to identify this particular client to the broker. And lastly, here's the name of the topic that this device subscribes to and listens to uh, for messages on. Okay, back to the main code. Uh, we just set up a debug port. This is where messages can go for the ESP8266 library, the Arduino library. Messages can go to this debug port. It's a software serial port because we're using the hardware serial port to talk to the ESP8266. Next we uh, define the class for the ESP8266 uh, Arduino library uh, and that's just uh, basically following the code that's provided on the Arduino library's GitHub site. We also define an MQTT object and uh, they had a variable called Wi-Fi connected as a boolean so I've put that in there too. Uh, the connected uh, code is all pretty much like what appears on the GitHub site in the example, but I've set the uh, broker IP address and the broker port to my uh, divine values, my constants. Uh, as I scroll down, there's events for when things are connected, and uh, when MQTT is connected, uh, we subscribe to the topic, the slash FLW topic. When disconnected, we don't really do much except log a message. When published, we really don't do much but log a message because, well, in this case we're not publishing any messages from this device. It's purely a sync of messages, it's not a source. And when MQTT data comes in, so when, we're, when a message is broadcast uh, and, and relayed by the broker our, that matches the full letter word topic slash FLW, uh, this particular callback is called. And so we pop the uh, topic name and we pop the data, uh, the contents of the data, the contents of the message. In this case I just convert the message to a character array 
and then I write it to the four letter word. So there could be um, a little bit more here. So I write this to the Nixie display here. There could be a little bit more error checking going on here just to ensure that the data that's sent is uh, sanitized and um, meets the requirements for display on the four letter word display. Okay, in the setup, all we do is we call a function to set up our Nixie display. Uh, we set up our serial ports. We enable the ESP8266 using the Esprino library. And then we begin our connection to the MQTT broker. Once that all happens, we set a bunch of callbacks up. So that's just uh, telling the MQTT library what functions to call when a particular events such as being connected, disconnected, published and receiving data occur. And we also attach a callback to when the Wi-Fi has been set up. So that way uh, an event occurs, we're essentially alerted in the function above that we have connected to the Wi-Fi network. The next thing we do is initiate the connection to the SSID and supply the password. And now our system is up and running. And all that's required is to process uh, the ESP8266. So this is kind of a almost a cooperative multitasking approach. So uh, this process function gets called in this loop in order to uh, actually do the required activities in order to receive a message, an MQTT message. And that's really it. In terms of the B7971 driver, uh, in this, we've got patterns defined as 16-bit uh, hex values. There are 15 segments on these Nixie displays, so uh, we have 16 bits. So we can define the entire pattern using a 16-bit unsigned integer. Uh, these patterns were designed using my uh, pattern designer and for the B7971. And uh, up here we define how many patterns we've got how many segments we've got on the display, and also uh, which Nixie, uh, which Arduino pins uh, we're going to use for what purposes. So my little Nixie drivers uh, just use uh, 74HC595 shift registers, so we need four pins to push out the data on those shift registers. We need to be able to enable them, we need to uh, be able to clock out data, we need to provide a clock to clock out that data, and we need to latch the data once uh, it's all been clocked out. Here is our setup Nixie function. Uh, this uh, sets the four control lines that we need as outputs. It writes them initially to low, and then it starts to shift out uh, just some data. It shifts out all high, on, uh, into the shift registers. That means that the Nixie display will turn all segments on and that's a good test that all the segments are functioning when the system is first started up. We then latch all that data and uh, enable the Nixies. There's a couple more functions here basically to write a pattern which just involves uh, shifting out data to light the appropriate segments. And then we have our function here, the Nixie write four letter word. This takes a four letter word, it uh, loops over all of the four letters and uh, takes the character that's received and works out um, if it's an uppercase character, then it'll just look up the appropriate pattern for it. If it's a lowercase character, it will also look up the appropriate pattern for it. It'll essentially just map it to an uppercase character because we can only have uppercase characters represented on the B7971 display. We've also got the capacity to show digits, and really if it's anything else, uh, it will display as an underscore. If it's uh, some kind of blank character, it will display all segments off. And now we just write out the pattern that's been selected. So that's the entire code that implements a Wi-Fi connected Nixie display using MQTT. It adds a lot of flexibility because once you've got this code in place, 
the device can pretty much be used to display anything and of course with a little bit of work the code could be changed to support other topics that perhaps switch on different kinds of animations for the display and it could also be used to support the display of much longer than four letter strings by uh, essentially scrolling the display. So lots of places to go to with this project.